it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, we will learn about how to interface a 16 x 2 LCD with the 8051 microcontroller. The platform for simulation is the Proteus Head Professional. So, now first we need to take our 8051. You can take 89C51 or 80C51 or any other microcontroller because all are same. Okay, now we have taken our 8051. Now we need to take our 16 cross 2 LCD. The model number is LM016, so it is alphanumeric. LCD display. Why it is called a 16 cross 2 because it has 16 columns and 2 rows. Okay, now, now there are 3 types of pins in this LCD. The first 3 that is VSS, VDD and VE are called as the power pins. RS, W and E are called as the Control pins while D0 to D7 they are the data pins. Okay, now first we will connect our D7 pin with the port number 1 and we will connect D7 with the port 1 pin number 7. So we will do one thing that is we will take our takes connection takes so okay now okay now this is our first connection take so we will we will copy to clipboard and then paste from clipboard so we will we will connect all the data pins with these tags. With the help of these tags, we can connect two points without creating any sort of uh, lines like uh, connections uh, or traces. So, like uh, if we want to connect a neighbor and uh, 2.3, then uh, we have to draw a connection line but with the help of this take we are not supposed to draw any sort of complex connection line so we will just give them names so okay you can just follow it like okay now we we will say it like a, a d7 d7 is the name of this take okay you can write any of the name of your own choice so no problem at all d6 and it is called as the d5 and D4 and D3 and D2 and D1 and D0. Okay, now these are our takes for the data pins. Now we will take uh, some other takes for port number one because we want to connect our data pins with the port 1 okay now we will connect all these days like this okay now it is called as the d0 d1 d2 and d3 d4 It is D5 and it is D6, sorry D6 and it is called as D7. So, okay now all these, all these takes are connected or all these D data pins of LCD are considered as connected with port 1 because all have same take names. Now we need to take our ground and we will connect it with the VSS because VSS is for ground. 
now we also need to connect VDD with power so what we need to do is to okay wait so we need to connect it with the power okay like this what about VEE for VEE because it is for to change the contrast or brightness of the LCD so we need one potentiometer we can take any potentiometer of our own choice like this okay here we, we can write it so one end of the potentiometer must be connected with power the second one with the ground while the middle pin it is called as the wiper pin so we need to take again our take okay now so this is our VE, okay, VE is just our tag name. So we will take another tag and we will connect it with the VE. Like this and like this. Okay, now we will write it uh, as VE. Now this VE and this VE both are considered as connected okay well, what about rs we will connect rs with 2.1 it is the register select then read write with the ground so we will put one ground for it and what about enable pin we just need to connect it with the pin number 2.2 Okay, now also we need to connect it with the read write. So, this is our entire connection diagram. Okay, now this is our diagram. So, we will go for our coding. Okay, this is your Keel Micro uh, Vision Compiler. You need to go to click on File. Or first we need to click on project so new microvision project yes okay now we will write here as LCD 8051 so this is our project name and here we will write 39C51 so click OK and yes and yes so now we got our target and source group 1 so new add new items to group source group one we will click on dot asm that is assembly file so we will write name like lcd underscore final so we will write triple seven and it will be inside this f drive so we will click on it okay now i will paste my code here so you can see it properly here it will start from org 0000h means that it will start from the beginning that is the uh, that is from this address that is 0000h then a is our accumulator and h 38h means that it is called as the direct insertion of this 38H into the accumulator. That is, it will use two lines and five cross seven matrix. So it will it, it is for the 16 cross 2 LCD. Then a call command. Command means that it we are all of these, all of this, uh, all of these commands will be uh, write to the uh, will be wrote uh, will be write to the lcd from the microcontroller then h0h is for cursor blinking off like if you want to give command from microcontroller to the lcd lcd is not going to blink its cursor then h80h force cursor to first line that now this command our ath command is for to is for to force the microcontroller to start from the first line first line of the LCD then 01H means that clear screen that whatsoever then you you can see DPTR that is the decrement pointer 
we 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 are supposed to display this string that is the Nelson Darwin on the LCD. So now we can see that this is this thing that is del routine actually is for display routine display and okay okay now and this uh, l underscore d is for to display the data on the lcd and a called del routine and here it's okay this one is com that is the uh, for communication between AT51 and LCD. So, because there is one uh, register called as the RS, that is the register select. So, first you need to clear it out and then, uh, uh, okay, no need to again like uh, set it. So, we will give clear it out because it is for command. So, wh whenever we are going to write something to the LCD, we always need to set this. Uh, register select RS pin of the LCD is at zero because it because it is written clear. Then L data is for to move what's called as the data to the LCD. Okay, okay, this is uh, our piece of code, so you can so you can see it properly. Uh, I will also attach this file in the description so you can uh, properly run it out. Okay, now we need to do one thing, and that is, and that is to click on source group one. Sorry, uh, click on target one, and click on options for target one. And here we need to click on create hex file. It is very necessary because it is the hex file which is needed to be burned inside the micro controller okay now we need to click and click on build target zero errors and three warnings so lcd at51 will be the name of our hex file and so where it is so we will search it out okay now we will go to our microcontroller we will double click we know that where our hex file is our hex file is in F and in objects. So LCD IT51, this is our. Okay, so okay, now we will run it. RS, okay, one point, wait, I will check that either. We have declared P1.0. Okay, one more thing that. Yeah. Here we need to write P1 because we have used the because we have used the port 1 with the LCD and also we will click on this build target okay now we will run it out and now you can see that we have interfaced the LCD with the AT51 with the help of assembly language in micro vision key so hopefully you got this simple concept don't forget to subscribe our channel thanks for visiting